Welcome everyone, it's Robert from Health Synergy. I have a question for you. Do you feel stressed? Many do. Do you feel overwhelmed? That's the number one reason people come to us, they feel overwhelmed. How would you feel if I said you're choosing the wrong things to focus on and that's why you're stressed? A lot of people might say, forget it, you know, I have all these other things to do, I have all these responsibilities and so on, and that's true. But in this video, I want to show you a new way to think about this, show you some, a new strategy on how you can expand and actually reduce your stress by taking control. And by taking control, I mean by choosing. And in this video, I'm going to use a visual aid, some pictures to kind of show you this. I think it will share the concept a little better and it will give you the opportunity to come back and un, uh, to watch it again so you can unpack and digest the information better. So let's go look at some visual aids now. Does this picture reflect how you're feeling? Overwhelmed? Out of control? Many people tell us this is how they feel at work. They have all this pressure on them. They can't break out of, them, out of it. They feel they don't have control of their life and they want more control. And this is important to you because this chronic stress depletes the body, depletes the immune system, and it takes the joy and juice out of our life. What we want to do is think differently and get to that state where maybe amongst all the unhappies, we're the happy person leading the way. And we're going to look at some things to watch out for. So a new way of thinking of this is, remember, when there's a stimulus, our brain processes the information and then we have a response. So my question is, is this what's happening to you? This is important to you because this is how most people respond in this habitual pattern. Now, same stimulus, we're going to process it differently and we're going to get a different response. So what's the difference here? A new question you should be asking is, how do I implement this in my life so I reduce my overwhelm? Well, we change our perception and we have a new choice. We make new choices. This is what others miss and don't tell you. You need to take control and choose and control the controllables to reduce your overwhelm. You see, this gentleman, Viktor Frankl, had an important book and in that book there was a important famous quote and it says, between stimulus and response, there's a space. And in that space is our power to choose our response. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. And that's key for you to take away from this quick training. Now, here we have it again. We see the stimulus, we process the information, and ultimately we end up with our response. This is a behavior, this behavior is a habit. It's a pattern that can be changed. It can be, we can learn new habits and we can unlearn old ones. So you should be asking right now, how do I choose differently? How do I get different results? This is a new way of thinking. It's about choosing. It's about becoming empowered. And what you can choose is what you focus on. Others won't tell you this, but you can change your focus and you can ask yourself questions like, what's good about this? What's working with this situation? What can I control? Who can I choose to associate with? Look for the good, look for the positive. And think about too, what do you want happen from the situation? What is the outcome you want to have? Instead of your uh, busy brain getting taken away down some avenue about the negative, what is the outcome you want? What is the positive? This is important to watch out for and take control of. So again, our stimulus leads to a response and in between is our ability to choose and th choosing differently will give us different results. So what can we choose? I want to challenge you and I want to challenge you to use your choosing muscle more. Decide to choose it up if you will. And what can you ch change? You can change and choose everything. You can change to have a different pillow, different bed covers, different pajamas.
the clothes that you wear, how you put your pants on. And by the way, the clothes you wear to work, if you wear very different clothes one day, people will reflect and mirror back different energy, different vibes, if you will. This is key because that will in change your reactions and how you perceive things in the world. You can choose to have a different breakfast. If you normally have coffee, have tea. If you have tea, have coffee. You can choose a different work, a, a different way to drive to work. You can choose where you park. And you can choose to stand instead of sit. As you've probably heard, sitting is the new smoking. So we should be following up on this. What else can you choose? Well, you can choose what and where you have lunch. You can choose how you greet people, and this is important. Start looking for the good. Because as you start looking for the good in others, you start looking for the good in yourselves. You can find the good, compliment everyone. If you're often maybe a little bolder, maybe be a bit quieter, be a better listener. And if you're a bit quieter, maybe you can step up a notch and be a bit bolder, take a little bit more of a chance. This is a new, different way of thinking. Other things you can choose, choose to go to bed earlier, choose to move differently. If you go to the gym, try a new routine, try new exercises. Choose to change everything just to see how it feels. It's very empowering and it gives you this uh, new understanding that you have control in your life. When people feel overwhelmed, they feel out of control. This is about regaining control. So try new things, new ways, empower yourself and reduce overwhelm. So empower yourself, reduce your overwhelm. Don't let the things you can't do stop you from doing the things you can do. Get back into control and choose more. Control the controllables. Now, use these brain hacks to reduce overwhelm and to get unstuck and to get to the next level in your life. Find out what's holding you back. You have to experiment, you have to try. And remove the parking brake to your forward progression. For the same energy, you're gonna move faster through life. Change your focus and use your choosing muscle more. Unlock the door to your untapped potential. Now, what are two important takeaways you got from this video? And importantly, what two action steps are you gonna to take to make them happen? This is key, taking some sort of action, become empowered. And by the way, please help others. If you know anyone who has stress, please let them know about this educational training program. Thank you. I'm Robert Ridpath, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.